Okay, the first problem on our list is M71. We're going to do M71 and M73 together. They're both rather quick problems, so we'll just do them at the same time. M71 says, explain whether the following items should be included in the inventory of Not Inc., a company that arranges and sells wedding supplies and services. A says, goods are being held by Not on consignment from Emerald Bridal. Should these be included in Not's inventory? The answer is they should not be included in Not's inventory. If you look at this, it says that goods are being held by why not on consignment, indicating that the goods actually belong to someone else, in this case, Emerald Bridal. A consignment situation exists where someone gives goods to another individual or another company or party, right? They hold those goods and then distribute them or sell them for the actual owner. The person who sells them or distributes them or allows them to be sold at their place of business, they get some sort of fee or some sort of percentage. That's the benefit from their party, right? The person who actually owns the goods, they don't have to actually have all the relationships or the other distribution outlets to actually sell the goods. They instead give them to someone else. So they benefit because their goods are being purchased by more individuals, right? But consignment goods actually are owned by one individual and held by another individual. And in question in whose balance sheet do they actually show up on, it's always the owners. The owners are the ones who actually show the inventory on their balance sheet, even if they don't have possession, physical possession of the inventory at that point. So because not is holding goods for someone else, right, on consignment, these goods don't actually show up in their inventory. Let's look at part B. B says goods in transit to Winston Wedding Consultants sold by Not FOB Shipping Point. Do these show up in Not's inventory? No, they do not. In this instance, Not is the seller. Not sells goods FOB Shipping Point. FOB Shipping Point indicates that once the goods leave that shipping point, they belong to the buyer, right? In this problem, it says that the goods are in transit, which means they've left the shipping point, which means the goods no longer belong on Not's balance sheet. Let's look at part C, which is the opposite of B. It says, goods in transit to the Not purchase FOB shipping point by Not. At this point, the goods are included in Not's balance sheet, and the reason why is because Not's a buyer in this case, right? Same situation as B. The goods are in transit. The terms are FOB shipping point. But in part B, Not was the seller. In part C, Not is a buyer. So just like we explained in part B, once those goods leave the shipping point and are then in transit, they belong to the buyer. And because not was the buyer in part C, the goods show up on their inventory, on their balance sheet. Let's go to M73. M73 says Dillard's operates 308 department stores located in 29 states. It says that on January 29, 2011, the company reported cost goods sold of 3.976 million, ending inventory for the current year, and 1.29 million uh, for ending inventory. Ending inventory for the previous year was 1.3. Is it possible to develop a reasonable estimate of the merchandise purchases for the year? Well, let's first plug in some numbers. I've written for you here the cost of goods sold equation, right? Remember that these two terms could be switched. You have ending inventory. It could be cost of goods sold is here, and that would give you, give you ending inventory. It really doesn't matter which way that you go here. Beginning inventory. Beginning inventory is going to be the same as prior year's ending inventory. So let's look to see what prior year ending inventory was. It tells us that prior year ending inventory was 1.301, right? So let's drop that number in. Plus purchases. Well, in this problem, it says we want to prepare a reasonable estimate for what purchases could be. So we don't actually have purchases. So let's just write an X there. Now we need ending inventory for the current year. It tells us that ending inventory for the current year is 1.29. Going to come there and make these terms like. And then cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold tells us is 3976. Okay, then all we have to do is solve, add the 1290 minus the 1301. X should give us 3965. And that's your amount of purchases. Remember, you can use this cost of goods sold equation to calculate typically ending inventory or cost of goods sold. But really, if you have the other terms, you can solve for any one of the terms in the calculation. Okay? So this is M71, M73. Please send me any questions that you have.